Hello science learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Miss Martins and in today's video we're going to be going over the term one topics for physical sciences for this year. But before we jump into the video I just want you to know that if you need help with physical sciences you can subscribe to my channel. I have loads of videos for grade 10s already. I will be creating more this year and I can't wait to help all of you so subscribe now. And then just before we jump into the term one topics because physical sciences is new to you you're in grade 10 I just wanted to give you a little bit of an idea about what physical sciences is. You'll often hear people refer to physical sciences, the subject, as physics. So people will say, I chose physics as a subject, or I'm taking physics next year. Now, what I want you to understand is that physical sciences, that's the proper name for the subject, is actually made up of two separate parts. They do work together, they do overlap, especially at a higher level on university levels, for example, but technically physical sciences is made up of two distinct sub-disciplines. One is called physics and one is called chemistry. Now this is why I have colleagues of mine that if they hear the students say, oh I'm going to physics, they actually get upset because physics is one part of physical sciences. You get physics, you get chemistry. Now physics is our paper one. When you are tested in grade 11, grade 12, maybe even the end of grade 10, you will write two papers. Paper one is physics, paper two is chemistry. Okay, they are separated. Now, what sort of topics can you expect in physics? You can expect things like electricity, we do magnetism, we do vectors, we do Newton's laws, we do motion, forces, all those sorts of things. So I'm just mentioning things that you may be familiar with already. There are loads of other topics that you will encounter as we go from grade 10 to grade 12 in physics. Chemistry, that's got to do with the periodic table. That's got to do with elements and compounds, the interactions between compounds, reactions, reaction rate, chemical equilibrium, basically chemical reactions and compounds at a microscopic level. It's quite different, but together they make up the subject of physical sciences. So in term one, according to your ATPs, you are mostly doing physics. If you're new to my channel and you have not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe because all of the topics that I go over, that I briefly go over in this video and let you know that they'll be coming up in term one, I'll be doing videos on those. I'll be doing past paper exam videos. I'll be doing study tip videos. I also always link useful documents in the description below. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And the document that I'm showing in this video, I have created for you guys for free. You can access the document on my website, missmartins.co.za. Again, I will link that in the bio below. So let's go, let's jump right into the video. Now, what makes this document nice and very useful is that not only have I listed the topics and I've also given you some formula sheets which you'll see um, every now and then here's some formula sheets or data sheets but when I've listed out the subtopics under each topic I've made it into sort of like a checklist so you can check off whether you have done it in class whether you've covered it or you can use it as a study checklist so when you study for tests and exams you can use it to check off if you studied the different subtopics so looking at the topics for term one, physical sciences, grade 10. We've got physics topics all throughout term one, no chemistry topics. Chemistry, according to the ATPs, will come in during term two, but our first topic, according to the ATPs, is waves, sound, and light. Now, this is quite a big topic. You can see here, all of these are waves, sound, and light. So technically, these three are all one topic, but I've broken it down into three you know, subsections, because there's three different types of waves that you're going to be learning about. So we've got transverse waves, which is one of the types of waves that you're going to be learning about, longitudinal waves, and sound waves are longitudinal waves, and then electromagnetic radiation. All of these are physics topics. And then we've got electrostatics, and we've got electric circuits. So electric circuits, you did in grade nine, natural sciences. So you should be familiar with that. So Let's take a look at the first one, waves, sound, and light. So as I mentioned, we first do transverse waves, and these are all the things that you need to know within this topic. Now, you're going to see some weird terminology, some weird things that you don't understand. Don't worry, I have videos on these, and I'll be making a lot more videos on these. So don't forget to subscribe and read ahead in your textbook. So what I would do if I was you guys is, wave, sound, and light is the first topic coming up. So maybe watch a YouTube video about wave, sound, and light, or read through your textbook. You know, you don't have to go crazy. 
I would just read through one or two pages of transverse waves in my textbook. See if you understand it. See if it makes sense. Don't worry too much about the calculations. Your teacher will work through those with you. And so will I on YouTube. So then we've got still wave sound and light, but longitudinal waves. You can see how I put little sound waves. And these are the things, the subtopics that you need to know. I also put useful formulae over here for you to have a look at. Then we've got electromagnetic radiation, electromagnetic waves. And you need to understand all of these subtopics. So you need to be able to answer questions based on all of these subtopics under electromagnetic radiation. Then we've got a data sheet. And what I would recommend is for each subtopic that you begin. So say now you're starting with waves. Keep one page open at the beginning of that section and write out your formulae. And you know what you guys can do is you can actually give yourself even more space between your formulae and then list what these different variables mean. And I will be doing videos on these, so you can stay tuned for those. But for example, V means speed, speed of wave. And then you can write speed of wave and you can write the units in which we measure speed, which is meters per second. F stands for frequency and the units for frequency is hertz, HZ. So, you know, like we measure, if you had to tell someone your height, you would say you are 150 or whatever centimeters. Okay, that's a very short height. That's closer to my height. Um, centimeters is the unit of measurement. So, for frequency, the unit of measurement isn't obviously centimeters, it's hertz. But you'll learn all about this as you go through the topic. So, the data sheet is just there to help you. If you print it and stick it in your book, you can add notes to it. So, I hope it's helpful for you guys. Then we've got electrostatics, which is technically our second big topic after waves. And that's all about charged objects. So you'll learn that objects can either have a neutral charge, okay, which means that overall their charge is zero, or they can be positively charged, or they can be negatively charged. And how they acquire or how they get this charge depends on the movement of electrons. But you will learn all about this. Electrostatics is a really cool subtopic. And here are all the little mini topics that fall under electrostatics. And in grade 10, you only need to know these two formulae that I give you over here. And I do it again on the data sheet over here. Something else that is not given on your official data sheet for your exams are these conversions. So I said you must study these. They are, these are not given on your data sheet. But your teacher will give these to you. And while I'm on the topic of data sheets over here... You can see I have the data sheet for wave sound and light. Over here, I have the data sheet for electrostatics. When you write a physics exam and a chemistry exam, you will be given a data sheet. And on that data sheet, you will get most of your formulae. Most of your formulae, okay? So you'll get these formulae under the little heading wave sound and light. You'll get these formulae under electrostatics. And for electricity, you'll get these formulae. Okay, so with that being said, our last subtopic or big topic is called electric circuits or electricity. You would have done this in grade nine or you would have started this in grade nine natural sciences, maybe even a little bit of technology, but there's a lot of definitions that you have to know. You need to define potential difference or voltage, current, resistance. You need to know how to draw circuits. So like the circuit that I have over here, you need to know how to draw something like that. You need to explain why a battery goes flat. And you need to understand the difference between resistors connected in parallel, like in this diagram over here. This is parallel resistors and resistors connected in series. You also need to know how to calculate resistance for resistors calculated in series and parallel. But again, I have videos on this. I will be creating more. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Here's your data sheet, as I've already mentioned. And like I said, for videos on these topics, you can subscribe. I also am in the process of creating study guides for physical sciences. So you can take a look at my website. This free document, this whole thing that you see here is also on my website. So I really, really hope that this video helped you guys. I will be posting or I will be attempting to post a lot more videos this year to help you all. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.